Interstellar Mapping and Acceleration Probe The Interstellar Mapping and Acceleration Probe map is a heliphysics mission that will simultaneously investigate two important and coupled science topics in the heliosphere, the acceleration of energetic particles and interaction of the solar wind with the local interstellar medium. These science topics are coupled because particles accelerated in the inner heliosphere play crucial roles in the outer heliospheric interaction. In 2018, NASA selected a team led by David J. McComas of Princeton University to implement the mission, which is currently planned to launch in February 2025. The map will be a sun-tracking spin-stabilized satellite in orbit about the Sun-Earth low and Lagrange point with a science payload of 10 instruments. The map will also continuously broadcast real-time in situ data that can be used for space weather prediction. It is the fifth mission selected in the Solar Terrestrial Probes program, after timed, Hinod, Stereo and MMS. Science Acceleration of charged particles up to high energy is ubiquitous throughout the universe, occurring at stars, magnetospheres, black holes, neutron stars, supernova remnants, and other locations. The precise processes behind this acceleration are not well understood. There are intermediate superthermal particles which have energies between the energetic particles and the bulk thermal plasma. Understanding how these particles are energized and form the sea population of the energetic particles is one of the science topics that a map will investigate. The solar wind and its associated magnetic field have blown a bubble in interstellar space called the heliosphere. The map will study the heliosphere boundary where the solar wind collides with material from the rest of the galaxy. Using energetic neutral atoms, ENAS, the map will image this interaction region from the inner solar system. In addition, the map will also directly measure the neutral particles of the interstellar medium because they flow through the heliosphere relatively unmodified. The map's science goals are based on the four science objectives specified in the map announcement of opportunity from the outside in, improve understanding of the composition and properties of the local interstellar mediumism, advance understanding of the temporal and spatial evolution of the boundary region in which the solar wind and the interstellar medium interact, identify and advance the understanding of processes related to the interactions of the magnetic field of the sun and the lism. Identify and advance understanding of particle injection and acceleration processes near the Sun in the heliosphere and heliosheath. Profile After launch, the spacecraft will take several months to transit to about away from Earth towards the Sun at what is called the first Lagrange point lawn. The spacecraft will then use onboard propulsion to insert into an approximately 10 degrees x 5 degrees Lissagius orbit around Loon, very similar to the orbit of Advanced Composition Explorer ACE. The baseline mission is three years, but all expendables are designed for a lifetime of more than five years. Spacecraft The map is a simple spin-stabilized Tilde 4 RPM spacecraft with 10 instruments. Daily attitude maneuvers will be used to keep the spin axis and top deck with solar arrays pointed in the direction of the incoming solar wind, which is a few degrees away from the Sunday in the loneless edges orbit. The rear deck, with its communication antenna, approximately points at the Earth. Instruments Thumb upright equals 1.0 right particle energy spectra for ions and energetic neutral atoms inset at 10 and the corresponding particle populations and map instrument ranges. The ten instruments on a map can be grouped into three categories. One energetic neutral atom detectors a map low, a map high, and a map ultra. Two charged particle detectors swappy, SWI, CODICE, and HIT, and three other coordinated measurements MAG, IDEX, GLOWS. Shown here top panel are oxygen fluences measured at 10 by several instruments on board Advanced Composition Explorer AC during a three year period, with representative particle spectra obtained for gradual and impulsive solar energetic particle SEPs, corrotating interaction regions SERS, anomalous cosmic rays X, and galactic cosmic rays GCRS, and top panel inset ion fluxes in the Voyager 1 direction using in situ observations from Voyager and remote DNA observations observations from Cassini Hydrogens and Interstellar Boundary Explorer Ibex. Middle Panel Swapi, Codice, 
and HRT provide comprehensive composition, energy, and angular distributions for all major solar wind species, current halo, interstellar, and inner source pickup ions, superthermal, energetic, and accelerated ions from SEPs into planetary shocks, as well as AXE. SWE, CODICE, and HRT also provide energy and angular distributions of the solar wind ion and electron core, halo, straw, as well as energetic and relativistic electrons up to 1 mV. IMAP LOW IMAP LOW is a single pixel neutral atom imager that gives energy and angle resolve measurements of ISN atoms H, HE, R, NI, and D tracked over 180 degrees in ecliptic longitude and energy resolve global maps of ENA, H, and O. IMAP LOW has heritage from the IBEX LOW on IBEX but provides much larger collection power. IMAP HIGH the map high consists of two identical, single pixel high energy ENA images that measure H, E, and heavier ENA from the outer heliosphere. Each map high imager is very similar in design to the IBEX high ENA imager but incorporate key modifications that enable substantially improved resolution, spectral range, and collection power. The instrument also incorporates a time of flight DOF system for identification of ENA species. IMAP Ultra. The IMAP Ultra instrument images the emission of ENA produced in the Heliarchith and beyond, primarily in H atoms between till the 3 and 300 keV, but it is also sensitive to contributions from He and Or. Ultra is nearly identical to the Jupiter energetic neutral image Jenny, in development for flight on the European Space Agency's Jupiter Icy Moon Explorer Juice mission to Jupiter and Ganymede. Ultra's primary differences from Jenny are the use of two identical copies, one mounted perpendicular to the amapped spin axis of Ultra 90 and one mounted at 45 degrees from the anti-sunward spin axis Ultra 45 for better sky coverage, and the use of slightly thicker UV filtering falls cover in the backplane and supi to reduce backgrounds associated with interstellar alignment alpha photons. Solar wind and pickup ion swapping. Solar wind and pickup ion swapping. The solar wind and pickup ion swappy instrument measures solar wind H plus and he and interstellar E plus and H plus pickup ions pews. Swappy is nearly identical to the New Horizon solar wind around Pluto's swap instrument. Swappy is a simplification of swap, and by removal of swap's retarding potential analyzer significantly increases transmission and improves sensitivity, further enhancing PUI observations. Solar wind electron SWE. Solar Wind Electron SWE The Solar Wind Electron SWE instrument measures the 3D distribution of solar wind thermal and superthermal electrons from 1 eV to 5 keV. SWE is based on the Heritage Ulysses slash Swoops, SE slash Swepham and Genesis slash GM instruments with updated electronics based on Van Allen probes slash Hope. SWE is optimized to measure in city solar wind electrons at loan to provide context for the ENA measurements and perform the in city solar wind observations necessary to understand the local structures that can affect acceleration and transport. Compact dual ion composition experiment co dice. Compact dual ion composition experiment co dice. The compact dual ion composition experiment CODIS measures charged particles in two separate energy ranges in a compact combined instrument. CODIS low is an electrostatic analyzer with a time of flight versus energy TOF slash E subsystem to measure the 3D velocity distribution function VDF and ionic charge state and mass composition of tilde 0.580 keV slash Q ions. CODIASI uses the common DOF slash E subsystem to measure the mass composition and rival direction of tilde 0.35 mV slash NUC ions and tilde 2600 keV electrons. High Energy Ion Telescope HAT High Energy Ion Telescope HAT the High Energy Ion Telescope HIT uses silicon solid state detectors to measure the elemental composition, energy spectra, angular distributions, and arrival times of H to N ions over a species dependent energy range from tilde 2 to tilde 40 mv slash NUC. It, heavily based on the Low Energy Telescope LET on the Solar Terrestrial Relations Observatory Stereo, delivers full sky coverage with a large geometry factor. 
a portion of the HIT viewing area is also optimized to measure 0.51.0 mv electrons. Magnetometer MAG Magnetometer MAG The MAT magnetometer MAG consists of a pair of identical triaxial flexgate magnetometers that measure the 3D interplanetary magnetic field. Both magnetometers are mounted on a 1.8 meters boom, one on the end and the other in an intermediate position. This configuration, through gradiometry, reduces the effect of spacecraft magnetic fields on the measurements of the instrument by dynamically removing the spacecraft field. The MAG are based on the magnetospheric multiscale mission magnetometers. Interstellar Dust Experiment IODX Interstellar Dust Experiment IODX the Interstellar Dust Experiment IDX is a high-resolution dust analyzer that provides the elemental composition, speed, and mass distributions of interstellar dust particles. IDEX's sensor hit has a large effective target area, which allows it to collect a statistically significant number of dust impacts 100 slash year. This instrument was constructed at the Laboratory for Atmospheric and Space Physics LASP at the University of Colorado Boulder. GL Obel Solar Wind Structure Glows. GL Obel Solar Wind Structure Glows. The GL Obel Solar Wind Structure Glows instrument measures the helispheric resonant backscatter glow of hydrogen alignment and alpha lion at and helium. Glows consists of two separate detectors, a alpha D and HD for the two spectral channels, with the lines of sight directed at different angles with respect to the map spin axis. The Lyman Alpha detector L Alpha D is almost identical to L Alpha D on the NASA Twins mission, and he uses a new monochromator unit. Communications Nominally, a map will have two four IR contacts per week through the NASA Deep Space Network DSN. This is sufficient to upload any commands, download the week's worth of science data and housekeeping, and perform spacecraft ranging required for navigation. DSN will communicate with the MAP Mission Operations Center MOC at Johns Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory, which will operate the spacecraft. All science and ancillary data will pass through the MOC to the Science Operations Center SOC at LASP. The MAP SOC at LASP will be responsible for all aspects of instrument operations, planning, commanding, health and status monitoring, anomaly response, and sustaining engineering for the instruments. The SOC will also handle science data processing including data calibration, validation and preliminary analysis, distribution, archiving and maintaining the map data management plan. Science data will be produced centrally using algorithms, software and calibration data provided and managed by each instrument team. All science and other data will be shared with the heliphysics community as rapidly as practical with an open data policy compliant with the NASA heliphysics science data management policy. The NASA Space Physics Data Facility SBDF is the final archive for a map with regular transfer of data to the SBDF so that the data can be made available through their coordinated data analysis web CDA website. Space Weather Data a map will supply critical real-time space weather data through its map active link for real-time or ILIRT. A map will continuously broadcast a small subset 500 bits slash s of the science data for ILIRT to supporting ground stations around the world when not in contact with the DSN. During DSN tracks, the flight system includes the space weather data in the full rate science data stream, which the MOC receives from the DSN and forwards to the SOC. In either case, the SOC processes these real time observations to create the data products required by the space weather community. They include all of the important parameters currently provided by Advanced Composition Explorer ICE but at significantly higher cadence, and also include several new key parameters. Management This is the fifth mission in NASA's Solar Terrestrial Probes program. The Heliphysics Program Office in NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenville, Maryland, manages the SDP program for the agency's Heliphysics Science Division in Washington, D.C. The mission's principal investigator is David J. McComas of Princeton University. The Johns Hopkins University's Applied Physics Laboratory in Laurel, Maryland, will provide project management. 
The mission is cost capped at US$564 million, excluding cost for the launch on a SpaceX Falcon 9 launch vehicle from Cape Canaveral Space Launch Complex 40 SLC-40 at Cape Canaveral Space 4 Station CCSFS in Florida. As of April 2020, the preliminary total cost of the mission is estimated to be US$707.07 .07 million to US$776.03 .07 million. Missions of Opportunity NASA plans on including a new secondary payload adapter as by evolved expendable launch vehicle Grand Rainbow de Map spacecraft, which will give the opportunity for four or five secondary payloads to ride along with the Map launch. Deployment of the secondary payloads will occur after a MAP deployment into a transfer orbit to the Earth's unknown Lagrange point. Some of the slots may be used by other divisions in the Science Mission Directorate and some may be used by other government agencies. Two opportunities for slots were competed for the Heliophysics Science Division as part of the third standalone missions of Opportunity Notice SAMA and Ministry Program Element Appendix PEA, with proposals for both due on 30 November 2018. Selection for phase of study should be announced in 2019. Science Opportunity the announcement of opportunity for the 2018 Heliophysics Science Missions of Opportunity MOO included the option of proposing a small complete mission SCM to utilize the MAP ESPA grant to launch a secondary payload. Up to two ports on the ESPA grant ring may be allocated for science MOOS. The payloads are designated as Class D as defined in NPR 8705.4. Tech Demo Opportunity the announcement of opportunity for the 2018 Heliophysics Technology Demonstration Tech Demo Missions of Opportunity requested SCM proposals for spaceflight demonstration of innovative medium technology readiness level TRL technologies that enable significant advances in NASA's heliophysics science objectives and goals. Tech Demo investigations must be proposed for flight as a secondary payload with the MAP mission. Up to two ports on this by Grand Ring may be allocated for Tech Demo. The payloads are designated as Class D as defined in NPR 8705.4. Down selection is targeted for the third quarter FY 2020.